Hi guys, my name is Clarice and welcome to this quick beginner watercolor video with me. Uh, if you're new to the watercolor journey, this video is most definitely for you, especially if you've never attempted a painting or you've never really worked with the medium before. So really quickly, I'm going to tell you what I have on here to get us started with it. So I've got a brush number eight round by Zen Art Supplies. I've got a little bowl of water. Um, and this is like a little resin, cute little resin bowl by Lisi Arts. And I'm going to use this area right here to sort of show you guys how to mix your paint once we've activated the brush and stuff. For colors, I'm using my White Knights St. Petersburg set of 36. It's a beautiful set. Love it. Um, and then finally, last but not least, I am going to be using this watercolor paper by Etcher. Again, if you are interested in the supplies that I am using, they are going to be listed below. So feel free to check them out in the links or just looking at the names if you have a um, supplier that you can get them from. All right, so let's begin really quickly. So I'm going to kind of move this slightly off. So the first thing we need to do when get, getting started with watercolor is making sure that our brush is nice and damp. So if you have a brand new brush, it'll definitely um, look very pointed like this and possibly very stiff as well. What we need to make sure we're doing is making sure that it's washed off nicely and really pressing down in there, swirling the brush around in the water bowl and then kind of taking away as much water as we can just by doing this simple motion at the edge of the bowl. Once our brush is nice and damp and activated with not too much water, we can now go ahead and get some color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this blue right here and notice that I am really um, trying to activate the color by making sure that the water from the brush is kind of evenly spread out and I'm getting as much color as I can onto my brush. Once I have this, I am just going to mix my color onto my little palette area. So this is how it typically looks. Now, you can see that I've got more water, less color. So I can either choose to get more water into my palette on here and I'm simply doing that by dipping into my little water pot on the side and then just kind of getting drops of water into my color mixture right here and so that's one way of kind of creating more and then say I want to add more color to this because it's too light I'm just going to go ahead and get more color directly from my little cake and continue to mix in here. And this is technically how you activate color, mix color, and get ready to kind of use it onto your sheet of paper. Okay, now you're just making sure that you don't have too much before you put this down onto paper to kind of start painting. Because what typically happens is sometimes people mix it up and their brush is full of water and when they actually go to paint, you get this huge puddle on your sheet, which is what you do not want. So just making sure you don't have too much. So you just kind of squeeze out as much as you can onto your palette. So now that I have some color on my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some color onto my paper here. Very simply using light strokes and pressing down, light strokes as in really pressing down onto my brush or pressing down onto my brush on the paper and getting this nice full oval shape on here. And you can see how light the color is. Now, say I wanted this to be a lot darker. I'm simply going to dip the tip of my brush in water and then get more color directly from the palette and then create the same thing on here. Again, this is just an example to show you guys how you can adjust the consistency of your color uh, or the darkness of your color when using watercolor. And so once you know these techniques, just feel free to go ahead and try it on your own because it all of it, all of this comes naturally once you've had the experience 
trying it by yourself. So you can see how the consistency looks on here based on what we've done so far. Now if I want wanted this to be a lot lighter, I'm just going to go ahead again, dip the tip of my brush in water. And without touching anything else, I only dip the tip. I'm going to go ahead and start painting the same thing. And you can see the more I dip the tip in water, so I've done it again, and I'm going to create one more little petal. You can see how it goes from dark to light. So it's really all about experimenting, really using your brush and kind of pressing down like I showed you in the beginning to kind of get different, um, different, I guess, coverage on your paper because sometimes you might not want to press down on the full length of the belly of your brush. You might just want to do a quick stroke like that and that's totally fine too. But again, this exercise is strictly to get you used to watercolor if you've never really attempted using it. So these are basics to kind of keep in mind once you do attempt something. Lastly, I want to show you one last thing and that is going to be how to kind of use your brush to get thin strokes onto your sheet. So I'm getting a little bit of the green from here. And I've quickly mixed some onto the palette that I've been using just next to my blue. And once I have the consistency I want, and this is fine with me, I'm just going to make sure that the tip of my brush is nice and pointed just like this. And you can see that I don't have a lot of excess water on the brush because when I do this, nothing's really coming out, right? So this is perfect. So now that I have this nice pointed tip and I know I have enough color on here, I'm going to go ahead onto my sheet and I'm going to show you exactly how we can get some nice thin strokes. Using the tip of my brush, I'm just going to very lightly graze the sheet without pressing down and draw in my line. Now the tip of this brush here is very fine, which is why I'm able to get something this thin. Now I can just go ahead and create another stem just like that. And then from there, a similar stroke to the petals and I'm gonna create a leaf. It's very simple. So all I did was using the tip, press down and then trailing off. And that's all there is to it. Now it might not come easily enough to you and that's most likely going to be because A, you've never really used a brush before and the brush can be a little bit getting will take a little bit of getting used to for sure uh, just because there's so much of the brush and you're trying to literally control the first little bit of it to create this stroke right so it's all about knowing what to do what to practice and how to kind of flow from there so i hope this video has helped you just to get started on your little watercolor journey. So that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on how to activate your watercolors, activate your new brush, get your colors mixed up, and then go ahead and create some nice little organic shapes and thin lines. So practice, practice, practice. And honestly, watercolor is the most therapeutic thing you can pick up. And I'm hoping that you guys will love it. Feel free to check out some of my other videos. And I would love to see and hear from you guys. So follow me on Instagram at G. Thanks guys for watching.